Hello, welcome to Sarge's Recap, and it's story time with Sarge. Also, Rose is here. Hi! <laughs> Ooh, my chair fell down. Sometimes it's, like, <laughs> it's still new, and it's like on a gas, it's like one of those um, gas release things for when you raise it up, so sometimes when you sit on it, it goes down a little bit. Ah, good. So... <laughs> okay. We each have two stories to share with you today. The first one will be how I got my first sword. And just for everyone that wants to know, it is serrated. So pretty. So a um, one of my good friends and the uh, girl I'm now... I'm not going to say we're officially dating, but we're getting there. Yeah. You're dating. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm dating. Gave it to me. We've actually known each other for quite a while. And the fun part about it was um I had to walk home with it. From school? From the surplus store I bought it at. Because oh. essentially what she did was I was given a gift card from her and she wanted to go with me. So it's like nine in the morning we set off. And this is this is I just turned sixteen. I want I want that to be known. So I don't have a car, I don't have a license. Um so we walk to the surplus store that's just on the edge of town. For those of you that don't know, that's about a thirty minute walk to forty five minute. We did it in forty five because we weren't really focused on getting there quickly. Um and they didn't open till ten anyway, so we had time to kill. We uh, got a smoothie at the nearby gas station. Went back there. They were finally open. And we go to shop around. And that's when what I was going to buy was a first aid kit. Just to keep around the house, you know, something useful. Um, but... You're going to buy a first aid kit from an army surplus store? Yes. Okay. Same, almost the same action um, she had. And so a as I call her Emma, that's not her full name. I'm not going to disclose her full name because she's kind of said she wants to avoid that. Has decided that no you're not buying an uh, uh, army fuel uh, army medic kit uh you're buying this yes so and she gets you a gift card and she goes no you can get whatever you want with this gift card except that you can't get that you're getting this yes <laughs> i've gotta beat her <laughs> <laughs> one day i'm sure but here is the fun slash not fun thing. Um, and I've actually haven't untied this since just because I don't wear this thing. I decided that I would wear it home because it was the best way to carry it. Um, you got pulled over by the police. <laughs> just wait. Sarge's like chronically short memory plays a part and shit goes downhill fast Aww. so on the way back emma's like oh i want to drink you know there's them like cool and i just walk into the duchess um at the time it was the small duchess so it was a duke and duchess and uh they called the cops on me <laughs> And I had to sit there for 45 minutes explaining to the police, no, I just bought this. I'm not trying to rob the place. Let me get my Coca-Cola. <laughs> but, uh... That escalated quickly. Yes. But, um... It, it, it's a good, fun, little, short story. <laughs> um, Why do you do these things? <laughs> 
for my viewers at home and for Rose's viewers, the fact that she has to say, why do you do these things? Should say a lot about him. <laughs> hey, it's what I do. I'm stuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> we we okay so how we met i guess this will be my virtual story um ah let me fix my videos let's get gallery we worked for a home improvement store that rhymed with mo's yes okay so for my short story so when i first met him we were working at well technically I'm still an employee there. I just am on um, leave because 2020 decided to everyone. Yeah. Um, so Where's my car money at humanity. Where my car money at? Right. <laughs> 2020's beating us down like we owe him money. So also Pepsi, please sponsor me. It's not gonna happen, but I can wish. Um, Email from Pe Pepsi uh, Cola Company. We will. Yes. <laughs> then I could really quit my job. <laughs> okay, so uh, it was like my second or third. No, I think it was like my third-ish day at this company, and. I was talking to another mutual friend of ours, Dorian, and who was on registers at the time. And he and I kind of like clicked a little bit because we were like, oh, anime. And we were like slowly coming around. Now the three of us are like best friends. But in, uh, I thought you were about to flip off the camera. <laughs> no. I. But now the three of us are like, peace somehow. Okay. So. My viewers already know, but for Sarge's viewers, I, um, I'm a sign language interpreting major, so sometimes I sign when I speak now, and that's just the life that I've chosen for myself, so. It's kind of funny because she'll, she'll sign something and be like, oh, you don't know what that means. Yeah, I will do that a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, Sarge comes up to me, and he's talking to me. And I'm like standing next to Dorian and I'm like, why is this weirdo talking to me? <laughs> why is this weirdo talking to me? Because I, you have to understand, I'm a very antisocial person. I do not like meeting new people. I do not like being around new people. I do like not like making friends. I just kind of happen to go someplace and like everyone just, and I'm like, no! And so, like, it progresses, it progresses. I've been there for, like, a few months at this point. And I'm sitting, and by this time, Dorian and I are pretty good friends, and we always try to, like, hang out when we're on break at the same time. This is before we started coordinating our breaks and going on breaks at the exact same time. And we're sitting in the break room. I missed Sarge, that, by the way. I do, too. And Sarge comes over. And he starts talking anime. And at this point, I've been talking to him, you know, off and on. And I would occasionally look for him in the break room just to avoid certain other people whose name rhymes with... What's a good name that rhymes with her? Or isn't? <laughs> no. Who wasn't Psycho Bitch? <laughs> and I would... <laughs> And so I would talk to Sarge a few times. And Dorian and I are talking. Sarge comes up and he goes, have you ever seen this show called Ruby? And I went, yes. And that's how we became, like, really good friends. You just brought up Ruby. And I'm like, hello. Well, for um, for uh, Rose's viewers, I am a huge Ruby fan. My viewers know this. By the way, speaking of which, Yes, there will be a Grumman Club playthrough. Yes, I keep forgetting about it. For my, for my viewers, to put in perspective his love of Ruby, y'all know how much I love Bleach and that I love Naruto, considering, you know, my old, like, really old videos, like the, um, 
the chat room videos that I used to do when I first came on here. My username, as much as I talk about it. His love of Ruby equates mine of bleach. Most specifically, of our God and Savior, Toshiro Hitsugaya. So, yeah. Not gonna lie. Not where I was thinking that was gonna go, but that's where it went. Where did you think it was gonna go? When, for whatever for whatever reason, when you said our God and Savior, I thought you were gonna be like, oh wait, he doesn't exist. I mean, Toshiro doesn't exist, but that doesn't keep me from wishing. Mm, that man. Um, so... <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, your story. This one, uh, is going to be a little more heavy-handed, or more heavy-hearted. I've gotten comments from over the years, where's Kenton 95 Why isn't she coming back on the channel? Where did a lot of your videos go? Okay, well, it's time I actually told you guys where that went. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, this is a quick recap of how Kit and I met. Um, the girl on the right there is Kit95. You can go ahead and flash up. For those of you who do know, I, um... I dated her for a number of years, and she became the mainstay. And in fact, the reason I started my YouTube channel, so just recap. Um, so first of all, where where the videos went? I mask deleted about 60 videos. Yeah. Yes. Um, why did I do this? Kitten and I had a very ugly break breakup, parts of which uh, hits the guy in those. Not Toshiro. God, he probably would have saved my ass there. Okay, if if our God and Savior Toshiro Hitsugaya knew, he probably would just like either a, you should have seen that coming, and like smack you upside the head for being dumb, or b, been like, all right, is she a hollow? Yes, die. <laughs> With her personality, she is. Um, so, let me tell you the beginning, the middle, and the end. In the beginning, I met Kitten95 in high school. Those of you who watch that video will know, but in a sense, I wasn't feeling the greatest that day. Don't know why, just bleh. Uh, I met her in Miss Lively's literature class of 11th grade this teacher is literally the best teacher i'm only saying her name because she needs more praise if she is still working for the school district give her a promotion <laughs> she should be running that place <laughs> but um and in that class i met a bunch of people that i became friends with some some not so much uh, one guy in a raccoon skin cap that was like the stereotypical South Confederate flag flying rebel. Uh, I ended up punching him. I was about to say, so you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, I'm going to move this so I don't accidentally cut the shit out of my arm again. <laughs> That's what the sheath is for. <laughs> But what I ended up doing was I asked her to junior prom. She said yes. Um, funny little side story. Drove past an armed robbery to grab my uh, suit. So there was that. And had a good old time at prom. You know, fast forward, we'll say about three years. We're out of high school. We're still dating. And then her mother decides it's time to cut things off. But she she lets it keep going for a while. Then I do not remember what triggered this incident, but her family and I had a disagreement. I believe it was about 
the way I was allowed to drive because I would. I, I had my license at this point and I didn't I didn't want to burden them with like you know if we wanted to go to the movies or something. So wait, hold on a second. They were mad at you because you would drive the you and kitten places? No, they wouldn't let me drive kitten places. I had to have my license for a full uh a full year cycle. So from January twenty was 2018 at this point because the Bad Wolf Zombie song came out and I love that. Still do. To 2019. Wait, what year did you graduate? 2014. Okay. Yeah. So, that's so you guys reason. at this point were dating for like four years. Yes. Okay. I, I was like confused. <laughs> Sorry. Probably shouldn't mention that. This relationship in total lasted about five years okay so through through the disagreements uh, eventually we um uh, eventually we decided you know what this isn't working out we need we need to see other people so we we're gonna split it off adult like you know have a good life sorry it didn't work out all that a few months goes by and she goes, hey, I really miss you. You know, I I thought I didn't need you in my life, but I do. My mom's a controlling bitch. All this, all this, all this. And um, I still had feelings for her because let, let's not cut corners. I got dumped. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause right here to sprinkle a little bit of comedy on this otherwise very heavy subject there is a reason your ex is your ex and nine times out of ten your ex needs to stay your ex half of I, this shit that this woman put you through i learned that the hard way yes um and now a little bit of foreshadowing there. Good storytelling on Foreshadow. So she tells me to meet her at Cedar Point. Oh, God. Whoa, wait, hold on. Hold on. Just for my verification, for the information that I already know. Not that time at Cedar Point. Okay. This was the first time. I was about to say. So she got back together with you. And the same day that all of that happened? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Nope. Okay, so we go to Cedar Point, have a good time. A couple weeks later, she gets mad at me. I had a very, very expensive necklace made for me that had the Greek pantheon pendants around. It's at about here. Um, and she ripped it off and threw it into the river. And we were standing over, we were walking through the... Uh, this was also at Cedar Point. No, this is this is a few weeks after Cedar Point. Wait, I thought she did that the same time you guys were at Cedar Point when all of that stuff. No, happened. that was the um, that wasn't the necklace. That was the bracelet. Because I had the bracelet with zoo with the Zeus pendant. That's right. Okay, continue. Okay, my bad. Some foreshadowing more. Maybe a little heavy on the foreshadowing. Maybe too much shadow, but. You know. <laughs> Cast in shade. <laughs> so now she invites me back to see the point. Um, essentially, I'm not going to go into two major details as I don't like going into two major details. And quite frankly, I'm bad at telling this portion. And since uh, since Hitsugaya has been casting so much foreshadow she wants to she can fill in this oh if you want i can tell this story i can tell this part of the story that that that's what i was alluding sweetness to. all right let me switch these out oh god she has to get ready i do she she's I'm making my video big all right <laughs> for anyone <laughs> so 
she invites him to Cedar Point, and her mom drive drives them in what was it a minivan? Yes. In a minivan, and he has like his backpack that he brought with him that has a bunch of stuff in it that he left in the car, including a very what was it a knife? Yes. Like a fancy knife, and he and it sets in the car. This is important for later, so remember this. Put it right back here and remember this part. So they're going on all the roller coasters and they're having fun and everything. And uh, they had a great day. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> and they're having they're having all kinds of fun and everything and going on all these different rides and about when the sun starts going down i want to i want to make a quick caveat that i paid for everything this day oh that's right he also paid for everything and you guys had fast passes too didn't you yes yeah so he paid for fast passes he paid for the tickets he paid for the food the drinks probably some carnival games because you don't go to cedar point and you don't and not play carnival games at least one and so, like, the sun starts going down, and it's about, you know, late in the afternoon, starting to get into evening. And they're walking on the beach, and she turns to him, and they start fighting about something. I, I can actually explain it. Was. One. Okay. For those of you that don't know, I've been under the Greek pantheon for a number of years. She is a zealot Christian. And this fight was about essentially the Greek. It, th this was the Greek pantheon versus Christianity. And even though I may have lost something in that battle, I, I believe the Greek pantheon. All right. So the Greek pantheon probably won the war in this fight. I'll, I'll agree with that. So they're arguing and they're fighting and they're bawling each other out about all of this. And she grabs like this expensive bracelet that he has that um it was which like that a, which uh it's that right here and it covered from here to here so she had to actually intentionally grab it just so you guys know just so, yeah, so just, it was like this was no accident right so she grabs it she rips it off and she chucks it into the lake all right, now mind you, this was a custom-made piece. This was expensive AF. This I can was tell you after I, she threw the necklace away. I can tell you how much the necklace and the bracelet cost together. How much? Two hundred and eighty dollars. So she, at this point, has thrown two hundred and eighty dollars into two separate lakes. Not to mention, like monetarily speaking. I'm in the hole for today, for this day, at about a hundred, hundred plus, but I'm not going to count my shit because it's my shit. Right. So like a hundred plus dollars plus this bracelet after she already chucked the necklace. Okay. And then when you think, when you think this bitch could not get any worse, she comes right up and she surprises you. She calls her mother to come and pick her up and leaves him stranded there with his cell phone battery almost on dead. With his backpack still in her car. Remember this. So he texts his sister as, like a quick SOS and she comes and gets him from Save Cedar our Point. Sarge. Right. Save our Sarge. And she comes and gets him. From Cedar Point, she drives from what, Columbus? <clears throat> Pyra, 98, as you may know her online. Or yeah. as we'll say her first name. I meant, so, like, where, what city did she drive from? She drove from downtown Columbus. Okay, so she drives from downtown Columbus all the way to Cedar Point, which is almost in Canada, I think, technically. Eh, technically. Because, like, it's, like... It's still in Ohio. It's technically in Ohio, but it's, like, right on the border. Yeah, it's, like... it's like, a stone's throw from Canada. So, like, if you actually go on the gatekeeper, 
you technically enter and exit Canada. Oh, well, then I've technically entered and exited Canada. And anyway. By the way, gatekeeper, 10 out of 10, Ryan. We'll do again. Anyway, the point of saying this is she drove at least, like, his sister, in the middle of the night, drove at least two hours to come and get him because Kitty left him stranded there. And her mom was okay with it. So he and his sister are driving back, and he's explaining this long story to her. And they pull into a gas station. Well, at this gas station, just so happens to be Kitty, her mom, and the van. And his backpack was still in the van with that expensive knife. So his sister, and I really need to meet her because I absolutely adore her, not just for this, but for several stories about her that you have told me. After Which, in the Sarge story time, we will have a dedicated Pyro segment. This is not Sarge story time? No, this is, but I'm oh. saying like in future installments. Ah, so she goes inside and pays. And you were pumping gas, correct? Yes. His sister, bless her, comes out, sees the van, opens up the back door, grabs the bag, says, I'm taking this back, slams the door before Kitty can do anything, hops back in her truck, because by this point, he's done pumping gas, and Sarge is back in the truck, and takes off. Yep. That's why she's my hero. Mine too. I still have that knife, by the way. Good. Um, and a couple of things that I need to kind of clear up is why Kitten and her mom were at this gas station. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with Route 3 in rural Ohio, there is like one singular gas station that people will sleep overnight at if they don't want to like drive like all the way to wherever the fuck they're going yeah it's like a secluded little gas station and normally you really wouldn't want to because there's like nothing around but also like there's nothing for a few more miles so if you need gas or you're going to need gas anytime soon you're gonna want to stop there <laughs> as a matter of fact um we've been there since then <laughs> And they actually have a picture of a picture of uh, me and my sister because they thought it was a theft. We had to clear it up. It was. I'm like, no, it's not a theft. It's a reverse theft. It's an untheft. <laughs> but um, it, it was it was probably one of the worst days of my of of my, my life. Which says something that I have had a pretty good life, I'll admit, but also this really sucks like hell, because in total, I want to let you know that two Cedar Point trips ain't fucking cheap, and I was doing this all on a gas station's dime. Well, that's I right. Would... That's before we worked at the Home Improvement Store. This was back when you worked at the gas... Oh. I literally oh, spent... I saved up four paychecks just to do this and i want to let you know that each one of my paychecks would total to maybe 150 dollars. so when when we're throwing around these hundreds and this hundred plus number and you're like ah oh, that's no big deal that's like a tenth of a paycheck to me keep in mind that that hundred plus dollars i worked all week to get right. that was my income and that was your entire paycheck. The main thing that, um, the main thing I'd like to add is where she is now, why I haven't talked to her since, yada yada. Okay, if you can't figure out why I haven't talked to her since, I'm I was sorry. about to say, I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk to anyone who leaves me stranded at an amusement park. Um, she didn't even wait for him to call back up to come and get him. She just left. Where is she now? I don't know. 
I know she's not in Ohio. And um, another another highly requested thing is why didn't we leave the videos up? When I took them down, this was the morning that I got home. I was essentially furious because I had paid for five years, probably, let's see, two proms, which ran 70, uh, tick, uh, 70 bucks per ticket. And then I paid for her dress. No, that was just her, she was between jobs and like her job kind of fucked her over there. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll pay for the dress, whatever. My parents like, paid for mine, the one prom that I went to. It was I only like went to my bucks. senior. They offered to, but I was trying to be gentle. I was trying to be a gentleman and, you know. Well, I was with my ex at the time, and there was nothing gentlemanly about him. So. Um, do I still have pictures of her somewhere? I'm sure. Because, I mean, a five-year relationship, you, you incur, incur pictures that you do forget about. I'm sorry, you do. <laughs> um... And will she be coming back to the channel? Hell no. Nah, I might take her place, though. <laughs> you know what? That would be more welcome. Because at least, um, if you guys watch any of the kitten videos, um, which doesn't. I'll admit, I haven't watched any videos on your channel. I have, like, I've participated in some of them, but I haven't watched them yet. When this is over, <laughs> when this is over, you and I don't don't just immediately exit the stream when this is over. Oh, I'm not. We've got more stuff to record. We're going to record, like, cool. a month's worth of stuff today, so. Awesome. Awesome. Gives me something to do tonight. Right? Uh, so, guys... Um, if you wonder why there was, like, that era of Sarge being very depressed and, like, I, I kind of had to force myself to make videos, that was why. Um, yo, I did get some comments on it, like, hey, we can tell you're not really yourself. Um, why I didn't talk to the, the camera and you guys about this. I will translate that and put subtitles for that, too. That was mostly for the <laughs> audience that I just signed, not for you. Oh, okay. Well, obviously, because I can't <laughs> sign language. Yeah. So even if it was for me... Well, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> but here's here's the main thing. I didn't open up about that because I didn't want my channel to be about that. I uh, Sarge's recap was made to have fun. To come and game and watch me either succeed or fail at gaming depending on what i'm playing it was made to have fun and maybe crew some subscribers along the way so that's why i try to keep it chill on the channel um how often will hits a guy be on my channel whenever the fuck she wants and that's, that's or if it gets requested you know so what if y'all request, y'all can just, like, tell him, come to my channel, yell at me, say, do a video with Sarge, and I'll go, okay. <laughs> yeah, by the way, yeah, if anyone wants me in either one of one of Hits a Guy's videos or you want me and uh, Hits a Guy to team up on a video, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments. We'll make it happen. We will. We're both Her and I text almost daily. So don't oh, and I think it is daily. There's no almost about that. We are we contact each other every day. <laughs> so and to be honest, um meeting Hetsugaya put me back on the put me back on the like the up and up. And there's some other things that might come to light in a future story time. Mm -hmm. Though I don't know about that yet. That really made her just like one of the number one badasses wait what did i do 
it was it, it was it was the uh when i told you about kitten and you're like does this bitch need stats oh that's right when you first told me this story i'm like all right <laughs> where is she okay so